So I have my 3D printer on the same desk that I have my computer and I kind of get tired of hearing the sound. So it's a constant whether I'm trying to sketch out something for a project, trying to code something, trying to read something. It's a constant. So I decided to try one of the hacks that I saw online with the IKEA LAC coffee tables. Put a couple of them together and you can build an enclosure for your printer. I decided to do that as a weekend project. It's actually pretty simple to do, only takes about an hour if you do a lot of the pre-planning for it, such as waiting a week for IKEA to get the LAC back in stock and also the printing. Oh yes, the printing. I just decided to go with the the risers here. These are the 100 millimeter risers and they take about eight hours to print each one. So for several days, I printed and printed and printed and printed. You can find the STL files on Thingiverse. There's actually quite a few of them. So for this, I'm gonna use the, the two lacs, a drill, I got the four stands that I printed, and a couple embellishments. I'm gonna add some LED adhesive light strips to it. Just gonna fast forward through this. Assembling is pretty simple. You literally just screw the legs into each piece. Don't forget to use your custom virtual assistant to play some music. Jarvis, ready. Play some music. I know just the thing. I'll choose something for you, sir. For you, sir. If you want info on how I made Jarvis, follow this link here. Uh, next thing I did is just kind of make sure everything was level. So just uh, these don't have any type of actual foot leveling on it. So just level the legs the best you can. Next thing, just kind of place the printer back on the first stand. Place the four legs just to kind of get a space of it. If you have anything on top, take off the attached spool holder. Then you take the second stand that you made, slip it over top. Just kind of have to fit it into the, the four feet, the holders. Place everything, space everything how you want, make sure it's all squared up. Kind of adjust the printer just to make sure it can go up and down enough. This one seems good. Just use some wood screws I had laying around and just attached those feet to the top of the first stand. Just use some pan heads to hold to attach the legs from the, to the second stand. And I'm doing a little test here to level the bed and make sure everything runs smoothly. I temporarily mounted the spool holder behind it so it just runs to the back. It shouldn't hit anything, it has enough room. I'm not planning currently on having a front door on this. This is just literally just to give it some space so it's not shaking all over the place. And here is after some time with some embellishments. I got some LEDs lighting it up so I could see what it is. Threw a couple projects on the top here. My plan is to have this to be kind of the new background behind some of my more talking head face-to-face -face videos. The lights will make it easier to just have whatever I'm printing more visible. I don't have to rely on natural light, sunlight. So hopefully this should make some better quality videos, especially if I start printing more larger projects. The back panel helps reflect the LED lights. The side panel helps kind of keep some of the wires hidden. Yes, my wire management is atrocious. Uh, we'll work on that. But all in all, I think it turned out pretty well. If you like 
videos like this, let me know. Leave a comment below and let me know. That's it for this one. Hope everyone has a great weekend, and I will see you all next time.